Hey guys, this is Two Tap and BD. We're supposed to have trail names, and so she gave me Two Tap, I gave her BD as trail names. We're up here on the AT on a big intersection on Ridge Road in Michaud State Forest. Just about to head out on the AT. It is about 10.30 in the morning, 60 degrees, April 16th. Looking like a nice day. We're, we're hiking uh, southbound on the AT, about five miles. We're going to dive down to the Hosack Run. Nice little camp area down among the rhododendrons. I think these are actually mountain laurels up here. Anyway, big intersection. Uh, not a whole lot going on. A couple people camped out. They're probably down the trail somewhere. We might run into them, might not. Anyway, see you down the trail. Okay, we just completed the toughest uphill of the day on our little five mile jaunt. And Beatty is back there. Somewhere, if you listen real close, you can hear her. Or not. There it is. She's down the trail behind. And plugging along. About four, four and a half miles to go. Awesome. All right. Staying on the trail. Just came out on a road for about 300 yards. And diving back on the main AT highway, baby. 2,000 miles longer than this little dirt road. <clears throat> Found some trail magic back there. Somebody left a plastic bag full of... National Geographic magazines, either for wiping your butt or for reading. By goofing off, I just yanked my arm. Nice. What a goober thing. All right, on goof. Yay. Press on. Chuck, chuck. Read them on. Or I guess you could wipe. No, read the magazine then wipe your butt. That's Whatever. What it's good to have stuff to read. On with Still miles to go. Meanwhile, back up the trail. Meanwhile, back at the trail, she is adjusting her gear because it's warmed up enough. Over 60, she's taken off her long sleeve, and she is soon to be heading down the trail. <clears throat> and proper trail etiquette is wait for your fellow hiker, baby, especially when they have the car keys. Later. We are plugging along on the trail. Uh, I don't know, we've been on the trail about an hour and a half. Life, good, lunch, soon. Total population on the trail with us today, 10 that we've crossed paths with. Uh, if you're into that, population-wise, five male, five female. Awesome, a few solo hikers. And uh, also, if you're into that, um, Awesome fellow hikers, 10 certifiable assholes, road hogs, uh, zero. So we are enjoying ourselves out here. Temperatures in the 60s now. A little bit of perspiration. Awesome. Life is good. Later. Here comes Beatty up the trail. Looking north on the AT. And west out towards Shippensburg, I Shippensburg, and south down towards Hussack Run Trail that we're going to be cutting off on in about a mile. Hi. Hello. Hello. And on we go. Bye. All right, we took a Blue Blaze sidetrack off the AT, heading down Hussack Run Trail. Heads down to Hossack Run, or Creek, or Crick, or Stream, or Tributary, or Alluvial, or Wrinkle with the Crinkle. It's got awesome water down there. Maybe only one campsite, so if we get down there and it's already taken, which is possible. We've seen 26 fellow hikers so far. Um, it's possible that spot might be taken. If so, we'll just come back up the hill and camp out up here. 
Anyway, that's all from Hossack Run. We are down here on Hossack Run Trail between campsite number one and campsite number two. Number one is nice, just doesn't happen to have water right nearby, so we're going to check out site number two. And we'll probably wind up calling that camp for the night. That's about it from here. Later. It's going on five o'clock, so Laura Lynn, aka Beatty, is supplying us with some water. She's gonna fill that up. That's supposed to hold two quarts. And uh, we can carry it back to camp the whole hundred yard travel. And uh, filter it out. Life is good. All right. Going into the water. I'll be right back. Sunday morning. <clears throat> Sunrise is just peeking over the ridge. It's going on 8 o'clock. <clears throat> the sun is just beginning to hit the ridge behind us to the west. <clears throat> Been in the hammock about 45 minutes now. I'm using my sleeping bag as a top quilt and a sleeping pad as an under quilt. Well, as an under pad. It's actually pretty darn comfortable. The only one issue with uh, sleeping this way, the pad is about 20, 22 inches wide. So the shoulders are exposed. Um, throwing some clothing underneath the shoulders would help or even a pad extension to help uh, keep the shoulders warm at night. It was a clear sky night, uh, 40 degrees, not too shabby. I thought I would come over and just give this a try before getting up, getting breakfast going. At some point, she will rise. Later. You got coyotes singing back. Sunday morning, back on the trail. Heading through the Roto Tunnel. We didn't leave camp until 10.30. Got down to about 40 last night, and right now it's probably in the 60s. Upper 70s by the end of the day. On the blue trail, heading back up to the ET. AT. Hike home. Hike home. Trail through Kendrick. Kendrick. The trail through Hussack Run Valley. Is much like this, just a whole lot of treading along on a ridge side through the roto tunnels. Very nice. A little bit uphill downhill. But they don't have the trail stream side. It's up on the ridge, so it kind of goes where the ridge goes. So more uphill. Later. Alright, a little bit of unsolicited advice. I'm at 5,000 steps for the day. The hike in here was 17,000. So how do you get from that number to the final number? Cue the Winter Warlock song. 
one foot in front of the other, baby. You got a stretch you don't like, hunker down, get tough, kick ass and get it done. Hashtag nursing school survivor. Yeah, baby. Okay, I stopped at a campsite just at the very bottom of the switchbacks going up Hossack Run to the Appalachian Trail. Stopped to top off on water as I'm telling uh, it's probably 70 degrees already. A little bit more water on the remaining four miles would be a good idea. So I went down to the spring stream and uh, used the sire squeeze to filter some water and gave uh, Laura Lynn or uh, um, or Sweetie or Beatty or <clears throat> the Coyote Whisperer. I gave her a chance to get further up the trail. And we will meet on top of the switchbacks right before we head on up to the Appalachian Trail and back to the car. Later. Okay, we made it up out of Hossack Run up through the switchbacks. Me and BD, or as I'm going to call her from now on, CW for Coyote Whisperer. What? <laughs> <laughs> and it's just a few short hundred yards on the remaining blue trail to get back to the AT. Not the ET, because the ET is not hike home. <laughs> hike home. We're probably about four miles from the car. Looking good. Nice warm day out here. Coming up on the end of Hossack Run Trail. Double blazes. Blue blazes. Here we are on the AT, southbound, Quarry Gap Shelter, maybe a quarter mile, half mile, three quarters of a mile, not sure, all downhill. <sighs> Goodbye, how's that run? And here we go, northbound, back to the car. Later. <clears throat> Here's a beautiful stretch of trail. <clears throat> Some pines every now and then, so even at this time of the year, mid-April. Some good occasional shade. It's a little bit on the sunny side. It is a nice stretch. Partially down a ridge. The west side of the ridge looking out to... Hello, Shippensburg. Treading along. It's a stop at a power line road. <clears throat> Just about two miles from the car. Waiting for CW to come up the ridge. About a 120 foot climb. I went ahead and borrowed her buff. The awesome buff. She got it in Las Vegas for just a couple bucks. Um, these buffs work really well. They work as balaclavas when you want to balaclava yourself. They also work really well when you're camped away in tent in your bag. If you got a mummy bag on, you can put it, pull it all the way up and over so you've got nothing but your snoot hanging out. So that's kind of awesome. And the uh, balaclava, or the buffs, are actually wicking, and wicking material is polypropylene. So if you don't want to spend money on a buff, you can uh, go shopping for polypropylene clothing about that size. That's a little tight on your head and long enough to hang down over your neck. Your neck is so... So what you do is, <clears throat> I would imagine, go to a child's department store and see if you can find a polypropylene, usually exercise equipment. Are the kids going to have exercise equipment shirts? Probably not. Are they going to have them long enough that when you cut everything off, they hang extra long? Like a so. I don't think so. So what you need to do is go to not friggin likely department store and then go back into freaks of nature department and see if you can find polypropylene that will fit tight around your head and hopefully no one sees you doing it otherwise putting kitty clothes on your heads might well it's probably frowned upon in that establishment too so or go to goodwill goodwill has a lot of freaky stuff and St. Vincent de Paul, Salvation Army, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, here comes CW. Yay! Later.